look, the fundamentals of these Chinese companies are still pretty kind of resilient, pretty strong. I mean, there's there's very little fundamental impact these companies will have, even if U.S. were to block, let's say, WeChat or you know TikTok in in U.S. because you know they're not making much money in U.S. And that's why you see the reaction in Tencent today. You're seeing a bit of value buying. You know, after kind of 10% sell-off, you see the stock up two and a half, six, three percent today. So, uh, you know, I, I, I think markets are just taking the view that this is, you know, we have to get used to all this politicking for the next three months until U.S. elections. Right, but how do you divide your view, uh, Chetan, between U.S. tech and China tech? Because that's where the money seems to be finding most amount of favor right now. And also the IPO pipeline, because of this tech frenzy that we're seeing world over, uh, a lot of companies are lining up, uh, irrespective of valuations, uh, to seek comfort from the markets. And so how are you, you know, separating the wheat from the chaff in really looking at the real opportunities there? Yeah. So what we've been recommending is uh, what, what we call a barbell portfolio. Uh, so the idea is that you still, if you, ha if you have a regional portfolio, still have you know, good quality growth companies. Some of these companies are tech companies which have proper fundamentals backing uh, those stocks. You still have those in your portfolio, but you also have a bit of what I call laggards or cyclicals or recovery play. So it's kind of a barbell where you have good quality stocks, somewhat expensive side. At the same time, you have some cheap, laggard plays uh, and and you kind of have this barbell portfolio i mean the, the reason to have this barbell portfolio is very simple that look there are still there are still some risks around there are still some uncertainties around so for example uncertainty on the uh, outlook of us china tensions uncertainty around uh, us elections we don't know where things will go so the the, the way to kind of position uh, around this uncertainty have a barbell you know still have good com companies with good fundamentals uh, in your kind of uh, core portfolio and i would say that Tencent and Baba, at least as far as I see, uh, they are still companies with good fundamentals. Also, the other thing also worth highlighting here is that if you look at some of the Asian tech names, uh, you know, let's look at Samsung, Tencent, Baba, uh, TSMC, you know, these companies are still relatively cheap or attractive against uh, US names, you know, the FANG stocks, say, for example. So, I think from an Asia tech perspective, there is still some value if you're a global investor, right? By, by themselves, these stocks may be expensive, uh, but from a global standpoint, some of the Asia tech names are not, not very expensive.